Have a list of addresses that you want to dedupe? That's crazy easy to do using Excel's Remove Duplicates tool. Check this out. I've got this list of addresses, and I'm going to make sure that when I'm done, there are no duplicates. For safety, I'm going to copy all of my content to a new tab. Alrighty then. Now let's go up to Data. On a Mac, it's in the top bar rather than the data in the application itself. And then go to Table Tools, and then Remove Duplicates. A dialog box will pop up, and I'll mark that my table has column headers, and that I want it to check for duplicates in the address column only. We're kind of expecting duplicates, cities, and states, am I right? When I click OK, it will bloop, quickly remove the duplicates that it can find. However, it only removed one address, and I know for a fact there are more duplicates on this list. The main reason Excel can't find all of them was because these addresses were manually entered, so there's no standardization. Excel is looking for exact duplicates. It doesn't know if AVE is the same as Avenue, or if Rainer Avenue is the same as Rainer Street. Now we can fix this manually with lots of Google Map searches, but I'll show you how we can fix this standardization issue in no time flat. First, go to smarty.com, or click the link in the description. Then at the top, hover over Resources, and under Demos, select Bulk Address Validation. Select whether you're validating U.S. addresses, international addresses, or if you're looking to match zip codes to U.S. cities and states. In this example, we'll stick with U.S. addresses. For step two, paste in your CSV project. Just make sure it has a header row. It is possible to type it in manually, but ain't nobody got time for that. Feel free to download the example file if you're curious about the best formatting to use. The free tool will allow you to do 10 address lookups at a time. Doing more than 10? Just stay tuned. Once your addresses are squared away, select Process My List. The bottom box will populate with your new validated address fields. Then all you've got to do is copy and paste that bad Larry into your spreadsheet. It's important to note that if your addresses were all in one column with the components not broken out, you'll need to split the new data with a comma set as the delimiter. To process more than 10 addresses at a time, you'll need a free Smarty account. I was able to run this whole list all at once because when you sign up for a free account, you get 1,000 free lookups for free and 250 free lookups a month after those run out. And guess what? It was free. Okay, I've pasted my process data into the new tab in Excel. There are a ton of new columns because Smarty gives heaps of additional data for each address. In fact, you can see in my list there are several marked as no match, meaning if I were to send mail to that address, it wouldn't work. For more information on that, check out some of our other videos. Let's get back to removing those dastardly duplicates, eh? The first three columns that I pasted are my original addresses still with all of their errors and non-standardizedness. But if I look over to columns H through L, those are the same addresses, but now they're all standardized. So I'll copy those columns and paste them over my second tab. Okay, check this out. My original data didn't have a zip code, but these new addresses do. All I need to do is the same deduplication song and dance I did at the beginning of this video. Go to Data, and then go to Table Tools, and then Remove Duplicates. A Clippy Free dialog box pops up, and I'll mark down column headers and that I want it to check for duplicates in the address column only. This time it did a much better job. There you go. That's how to use Excel to clean up your duplicate addresses. Later, skater.